Hey guys, so the second season of the Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon collab is here. Um, so we're going to have new characters, there's a new raid. Uh, we'll start with the exchange rewards. So I'm going to go over some things if you're new, kind of what to look out for. And just some of the things that are new. So we're going to look at the exchange rewards. You can see some of the new stuff here on the left. Uh, I already redeemed some of it. So there is a new weapon to get here. Um, and then there's also a new, um, like board, see right here, like a new icon frame. <clears throat> so there's a new icon frame and the new weapon. So look out for that. So there's also a new scenario. So it's a part two right here. You can get more of the, like the ribbon item. Uh, so that's really cool. Make sure you do all the difficulties on that. And then, uh, there is the world raid. So if you're new to the game, this is a little different. So you come over here. You can get coins doing this too, by the way. Um, but there is going to be this big old raid boss here. And um, so what you're going to do is either uh, hit battle and you can host or join one. And let's, let's say we hit join here. Um... You're going to join a raid, and you can rejoin it after you go. So you're going to go and fight this boss. Hopefully, I'll have some kind of footage up on the side or something. Uh, you'll join the raid, fight the boss, and then you'll do as much damage as you can to try to get as high as you can and uh, damage rank-wise and to beat the boss. Um, uh, so if you hit join, uh, what these little things are right here are like buffs. So you can try to target the ones that have those buffs on it because they'll get you more rewards. Um, you can also host a raid and you can add those. So you can kind of see what it costs people to do this. So you can select the um, harp. I think everybody does blessing and attack. That's what I would do. So this is what I would do and that is what I recommend you do. Uh, that way you can do as much damage to get as much rewards as possible. Um, so there is that. Like, what do you get for rewards? Um, you can see the reward list here. Um, you're going to get bags of, like, these materials here. Also, you're just going to straight up get materials for winning, and I'll show you what you do with those materials here in a second. Uh, but basically, you're going to craft things. Um, also, if you're doing a raid and, let's say, you disconnect or whatever... Uh, you could always just hit rejoin raids and you can just uh, or join raids and you can just rejoin those <clears throat> again on the left you can see what people are bringing in that's always really helpful details it'll kind of break everything down for you as well as the schedule so let's actually go um i'll show you some of the crafting so you go to blacksmith whenever it finally does it okay and then you go to artifacts and then craft so if you go all the way probably down to the bottom here for you, um, you're going to see the Black Dragon of Calamity. Uh, so I think it's just these three items. Um, but basically you can craft these things here, and you can kind of see what they do if you hold down on it. Um, they have some you know, ailment resistance. One kind of neat thing is it has necromancy for 10 turns. Heroes uh, with necromancy effect, uh, you know, they change into zombies for four turns when they die. So, it's kind of neat. I don't know if it's the best thing ever, but it's still kind of cool, especially if you're new. They're, like, pretty beefy weapons. So, um, let's use this as an example here. Uh, we'll do this book. So, we'll craft the book. So, you can craft this here. you got to need these items on the left that you can see. You just hit craft, and you can see on the right there's stars. One star, two star, three, four, five. So, we'll just craft a one star because that's what you need to start out with. Get this cool little animation, boom. Get one star. So it's as easy as that, but it starts to get a little complicated later on. So let me show you. Um, I have a sword that I kind of did beforehand so I can show you. So see, I have a four star sword here. And um, you're going to need to buff that up. So we're going to use... Uh, this sword, we're going to click on the left here, use this sword that I'm kind of already working on to start up. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to give you a random attribute out of like a list of them. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So we're just going to hit craft. Boop. And 
and then so it gave me like a certain like a, a Jotun killer, which is like a certain race of the game. So what I would like, so here's an augment list. Since I'm probably gonna give this on a guy that does like just like attack, I want attack up. So you can get one through five attack up. Like the benefit that would be for these, it would be very specific. You can have a higher percentage, sure, but it's for a very specific like thing, um, which if you're maybe more pro, maybe that's something helpful, but there's also magic defense you can put on it. But I just want attack up on this weapon, okay? So you can change the augment here, but it takes rubies, um, which you can get a decent amount of them. So. Um, they've changed this over the years, but uh, I believe, I don't remember it used to being like this, but you can pick what you want, and then you can even select what value you want it to be at. You know, depending on how many rubies you have, um, you may just, like, be okay with, like, three and up, five and up, or whatever, or four and up. I'm just gonna do five. It costs 3,000 to do it, but it will stop whenever it gets what you're wanting. So here, I'll kind of show you. And if you're lucky, it doesn't spend that much of them. So it's just going to keep doing this until it finds. So there's a 3%. That's not too bad. Uh, so we'll speed this up. It looks like I'm getting unlucky. <laughs> okay, finally it found it. Okay. Um, so uh, then you hit select one of these. And then you're going to want to select the one that you want, obviously. I want the 5% attack. Boom. So that's what. So now it's got plus. 15% attack on it. And then you just do that again for... I'm not going to do it again right now, but you do that again for, like, 5-star. So I just want to give you kind of a little example of how that works. Um, so there is that. And now we're going to look at the new banner. There's a new a new collab banner that I think is pretty cool. And it works a little different. So I wanted to show you. So here it is. Uh, you can get uh, these three... I, I can show you easier this way. So you can get these three ladies here. So you get Hestia, you got Ryu. Oops. You can only pick two. Um, you can get Ice. I forget how you pronounce her name. But, uh, but and they get, like, cool, like, costumes. Like, kind of more... Uh, <clears throat> kind of more themed from the game. I love when they do this. So, pretty cool. And I think they're pretty decent, too. These types of characters generally are better than just the straight-up collab characters for the most part. But as you can see, I'm able to like pick two characters here, and uh, I'll pick Hestia and Ryu, and then you will get one guaranteed at the 15th step, which I'm gonna say is like 45,000 or so, something like that. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's something around there. There's the trader as well. Uh, because you're going to get coins for doing these steps. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just use all that. So um, there is another type of pity system. You can get all kinds of characters in here, as you can see. And some of these are pretty freaking good. So, um, you know, you could look up, you know, what people find are really good. Uh, you can let players know in the comments what you think they should get in here. But you can get the collab characters in here as well. Um, so another way to get them... Um, so just keep that in mind. You do, let's say you've done a little bit of this. I would only recommend doing this banner if you can get to the pity and make sure that you get a character. Um, but if you have some leftover coins or whatever, you could always try this. It's a pretty low chance, 30%. Um, but that is an option. So I just wanted to show you guys the new banner and kind of show you how it works. I think the characters are good. Um, so I think it'd be worth it probably over um the the box summons which by the way i did summon on uh <laughs> the box one i i have some footage of it um but i was busy i didn't get to like commentate on it at the time but uh yeah i, I got them both and they're they're pretty fun so here is the new banners pretty cool i like how they look i think they did a good job like incorporating their original design and like valkyrie connecting it up a bit um so Pretty dang cool. The first couple steps are discounted. It's like 50% and then what, what like 20%? I kind of forget, but they're discounted the first two times. But it's going to be like 3,000 per poll, I think. Um, but, I mean, I could do it. I mean, yeah, it, sure. Let's just let's just do it here. Let's do it live. Um, I'll kind of show you guys 
how this looks. I mean, I could get lucky and not have to go to the pity. It's totally possible. Chuck this down. We got feathers. That's a good sign. The rainbow orbs is what you're looking for. Lots of super rare. He's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Alice. Very cute. Uh, okay. So we got, so you get 30 coins for a single pull. So you can kind of keep in mind how many you would need. So the next one is uh, two grand. Versus what, like uh, 1,200 last time? So we'll probably like skip because this might take a while to kind of figure out here. Yeah, nothing super spectacular. Do it again. We'll just do the one pity at least. Unless we get like one of the characters and I'll probably just end it there. Three rainbow orbs. I don't think I have that item, that like tree book. I love this character's design. I like the under her hat looks really cool to me. Um, yeah, you get supercharged whenever you have duplicates of the characters. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to clean out my inventory, I'm sure. That's a lot of rainbow orbs. Got more of the samurai dude. Water bow. She was cool. I used her like when I first started. The crazy face. I think I'll probably just start skipping it. Unless I see feathers. Oh, okay, there's feathers. It's not like a necessarily like a guarantee for the clap characters though. Oh nice! Okay. Uh very cool. So I'll probably just dip on that, honestly, for at least for this video. Maybe I'll do something <laughs> maybe I'll do something later. Um but just for the sake of the pacing of the video. Oh she's cool too. She's got a scythe. Scythes are cool. But that's pretty lucky. Hey, not bad. Um, so she's also, I think, um, like damaged up. Her stats, I think, are boosted is what I'm trying to say for the raid. So that's something, I think all three of the characters. So that's pretty cool. Um, she does all kinds of stuff. Grants Frenzy and Quick to all allies. That's a really good you know, thing to have in general. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. You can see what she looks like in 3D. Cool, cool. So I got the main character I was really wanting anyways. Um, maybe I'll do more uh, of a summoning video later on, but just kind of wanted to do a general overview. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. That's it. Um, at least that I can think of uh, for this update season two. I don't know if there'll be a season three, but if there is, I will update you on that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new characters. And if you, you know, add me as a friend, B-E-W Drake, and you can join my raids and carry me because I need it. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot. God bless you, and you have a blessed day, y'all.